Hello, my name is Michelle Wynn. Today I will be demonstrating the insertion of an NG tube. I will begin by verifying my position orders. I see that the position has ordered the placement of an NG tube um, for suction. So I will gather my supplies, the supplies that I'll be using. I have clean gloves. I have an 18 French um, gastric tube. I have a 60 milliliter syringe. I have a towel. I have my pen light. I have lubricating jelly. I have tape. I have a pH test strip. I have a safety pin, a suction, or excuse me, a specimen cup. I have a cup of water with a straw. I have my basin with warm water. I have my stethoscope and I have my patient. So I will begin by gathering my supplies. I will proceed to the patient's room. I will knock before entering. I will close the door or curtain behind me to ensure patient privacy. I will place my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface. I will perform hand hygiene and place a new pair of gloves on. Hello, my name is Michelle. I'll be your nurse today. Can you please tell me your first, your last name and your date of birth, please? Thank you, Ms. Jones. So I did verify that information against her wristband. So Ms. Jones, today um, your doctor has ordered the placement of an NG tube for suction. And um, what that is, is a tube that will be placed through your nose and it will go to your stomach to collect some gastric contents. Um, it's just to clean out your, your stomach, okay? Okay. Um, I am going to begin by preparing my supplies. So Ms. Jones, I know this um, is not one of those procedures that anyone looks forward to. So I will try to make this as, as comfortable as possible. Um, I will explain every step to you. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask me, okay? Do I have your permission to proceed? Okay. So I am going to first begin by measuring this. I want to determine how much I need to insert to reach your stomach area. So to do that, I am going to um, measure this from the patient's nose to the tip of their earlobe. and then down to the xiphoid process. Okay, and that takes me down to 50. So I am going to mark this using tape so I will know how far I need to insert this. Okay, now that that's been done, I am going to place this in my basin of warm water. Um, warm water is just to um, warm it up a little so it's a little more comfortable. And then also the warm water makes it more pliable. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna place this towel around you, okay? Okay, next I am i um, going to raise the bed um, to a good working level. And then I'm also going to ensure that my patient is in the Fowler's position. And um, that placement was done prior to me measuring. I just stated it now. But my, my patient is in a correct position and was in a correct position. Okay, so Ms. Jones, I am now going to um, shine this light on your nose. I want to examine each nair. Um, what I'm checking for is um, just to make sure that there's no obstruction, no deformities. Um, I'm looking at the membranes, um, ensuring that there's no redness or no swelling. Okay, and everything looks okay. Okay. Um, next, Ms. Jones, what I want you to do is if you can hold one nostril and breathe in and out of the opposite one. Okay, perfect. Now, if you can switch and do the other side. 
Okay, it appears that Ms. Jones has the greatest airflow coming from her left nostril. So that is the nostril that I'll use for the, um, the insertion. Okay, so now um, I am going to get my tubing. Okay, Ms. Jones, so I am ready to insert this. Um, it may be a little uncomfortable and it is normal to gag a little. Um, I do have water here for you. So if you um, gag, I will give you sips of water um, at any time. If you're unable to breathe or if you need me to stop, please raise your hand. OK. OK, so when I first insert this, I need you to extend your head back. And then as you feel this getting to your throat, I need you to lean forward, okay? Okay, so I will begin by putting the, the tip of the tube into the lubricating jelly. Okay, Ms. Jones, this will just help it um, glide in a little better um, to minimize the discomfort, okay? Okay, and again, um, if anything doesn't feel right, just raise your hand and I'll, I'll slow down and I'll stop to see what's going on, okay? So when inserting this, you wanna go with the curvature of um, the tubing. Okay. Okay, now Ms. Jones came up a little, so that's my indication that it's at her throat. Okay, and she gagged. Um, okay, you can take a few sips. Okay, so she's she gagged a little, so I gave her water. And um, after the sips, I'm gonna insert slowly, um, advancing it about two to four inches. And I'm gonna keep doing that and allowing her to have sips of water. Okay, and I'm still advancing. And now I am at my desired location. Okay, now what I will do is get my syringe and um, I am checking based on facility policies to ensure I am in the right location. So I am going to um, suction about five to 10, milli 10 milliliters of her gastric contents. Okay, and then I'm going to insert it in the specimen cup and discard of that. I'm going to get my pH test strip and test it. Okay, and according to the facility policy, as long as it's within um, the one to five pH level, um, that, that's indication that it is in the appropriate location. So I'm gonna move this. Okay, now while I was inserting, if I would have met any resistance, I would have, um, pulled it out and started over, but I would have used the opposite nostril. Okay, um, and now that it has been placed, before I can do anything else, I need to verify that it is in the appropriate location and that can be done via uh, x-ray. Um, so I have placed my patient um, back in a lower position and x-ray has been done and I have confirmed that it is in the appropriate location. So at this point, I am going to secure the tubing. I am going to connect this to my patient's nose and secure it with tape.
Okay, and now I am going to um, connect this to the suction. I will secure the tubing to my patient's gown with the safety pin. And while um, the patient is connected to the suction, um, I need to maintain patency um, on the tubing. And then I also want to um, continuously um, monitor it. I want to look for um, the amount of fluid that's being um, suctioned out. I want to look at the characteristics of that fluid. These are all things that I will be documenting. Um, I also want to um, document how the patient handled this procedure. Okay, so I will um, clean up. I will remove this towel. I'll gather all my supplies. I will remove my gloves. I will just confirm that my patient is okay. Um, performing hand hygiene. Ms. Jones, is everything okay? Do you need anything? Your call light is nearby. If you need, it, need me, please let me know, okay? Um, I am going to document this procedure. <laughs> 